and welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. I'm Amanda, and I'm by myself today. <laughs> but I'm Linus. Okay, Linus is on camera, but his throat's not feeling good, so he's uh, not not able to talk so much. You don't believe it either, do you? <laughs> he said to me yesterday, I talk too much all day. <laughs> so we have the Joby Wavo Air 2 here for you. Two because there's two of them. And uh, it's a great little wireless transmitter receiver dual pack. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's see what's in the box here. Oh, check that out. I, I love fun packaging. That just looks neat when you open it up. I am really surprised by the size of these. I'm not gonna lie to you. I looked at it just before we started here and these are, they weigh nothing. And it just, it feels so incredibly light in my hand. We'll come up with the specs in a minute so you can know exactly how much these weigh. But like, look how tiny those are. It just fits right in the palm of my hand. That's the receiver. So let's see what we got in the box. We got the receiver, we got two transmitters, and you got a bunch of clip attachments that you have. So you get these uh, little clips and they just sort of come onto the back and just sort of click in like that, you see? And, and then they snap on. And so I guess you wanna point the mic at the person. This is a microphone that has both an onboard mic and the option to add a wireless lav, or not wireless lav, a wired <laughs> mic to it. So you get a whole bunch of attachments for this guy. That's to snap it onto your Joby uh, gorilla pod or any other kind of tripod. There's your cold shoe mount. It just snaps right onto your uh, receiver there. Uh, I don't, do not know what this one is. Oh, now I do. It's a little magnet, you see? So you put the other one on a magnet. Now I know that there's like a lanyard in here somewhere. So we'll snap that on. We'll check that out in a second here. So inside the box, you get two more sections of things. You get some cables on this side and you get some other goodies on this side here. So you get two dead cats or wind socks. You get another uh, clip for the other receipt or transmitter. You got your two lav microphones. And, oh yes, so you get your this is a TRS to TRS, and this is a TRS to TRRS. So this one's gonna go into your camera. This one's gonna go into your cell phone. In addition to that, so you get uh, some USB-A to USB-C chargers. There's three of them for the three units. And here's your magnetic lanyard, so, oh. Well, that didn't go so well. I didn't have it clicked in well enough. <laughs> I thought I had it in well enough. Hold on, folks. We get there. So you stick it in, you twist it around. Maybe you need a quarter to do it better. I think you need a quarter to do it better. All right, I got it that time. Now, that's pretty strong, actually. <laughs> so the idea with that is that you would have it, you know, under the shirt. There it is, stuck right on there. So that's super convenient. And again, if you're, if you're just out vlogging, or you, have a, you will have a YouTube channel or something like that, and you just want something that you can just record on the fly with, these are awesome. I love that it's two transmitters and one receiver. Uh, and in fact, I love that a lot of companies are doing that now. Uh, we were talking before to get this kind of system, a wireless system, you had to buy the pro system and they were between 800 bucks and 1200 bucks and to the moon. Like there's some Lecter Sonics and Audio Technicas that are just like out of this world <laughs> in price. But these guys come in at about 240 bucks or actually it might be $219. Uh, for, you gotta forgive me, the ch exchange rates have been changing a lot lately and we, we bought it in Sweden. So uh, it was 2,900 Swedish kroners, whatever that translates to. Uh, yeah, okay, so other than the instructions, that's all that's in the box. And yeah, let's just like take a look at these real quick. 
Let's see if we can put on these little wind socks. This is, we've tested, when we had a comparison between four or five different versions of these kind of microphones in the fall, we found that these wind socks that just have this little clip on don't always stay on so well. So that's something I'm looking for here. If I can get this on to begin with, get on there. Do, 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 do. This is where Jessica puts up. 2,000 years later, Amanda figures out how to stick this thing on the thing. There's so much fur in the way. <laughs> Get in there. I'm going to hold it down. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You know what? It might. Linus, mm -hmm. can you come on set for just a sec, buddy? It's so much fur. Look at all the fur. <laughs> See if you can get that on there. And it's like the little nubbin is kind of out a little bit. Look, that one's different. That one needs the nub stuck back in. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll try this one. Oh, I got this one. It's the nub. The nub's the problem. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to try to tech tips my way there, push the nub back in. So yeah, the filter came out a little bit. That's why I couldn't get it in. Let's see if I can get it in now. There. Well, that was easy. They look like, I, I don't know if you guys ever, you, well, you guys, you guys know, they look like that little, what's that cartoon where, where Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick sing? Uh, you know, what, what is it? The colorful hair guys, the tro trolls. Right. Anyway, listen. So now we have this on, and it actually stays on pretty good. Some of the other ones, like they were so weak, they just came right off when you put them on. That's on there really good, but you still have to watch them. I think, like, overall, it's not the best system to stick a windsock on, but it works. And then you just have it clipped on your shirt like this, you know? So uh, we can power these guys on. We did take the liberty to charge these guys last night. I didn't, the, I didn't see them, Jake, Jake did. Let's see, one, two, three. There we go. And those are all paired up now. So they come paired out of the box, but if you did ever need to pair them, oh yes, that was the only other accessory I didn't show you. If you did need to pair them, again, inside the box, you guys, anybody who has, has had a cell phone in the last 10 years, you've seen something like this, the little cell phone pin, the SIM card pin. It comes with one of those because if you ever, we uh, say you damage a unit and they said you were a replacement unit and you need to pair it, something to that effect. Somewhere on this body here is a little pinhole for you to do the pairing. Maybe there. No, there. So when you put it in the transmitter, the pin, it will start searching for pairable devices. And that's how you get that done. Now, I think... Uh, well, let's take a little quick look at the microphone itself, just so that we can see. It's got a good metal clip on it. Uh, we tested some Senkos not too long ago, and they had a plastic clip, which Linus broke within 10, 15 minutes of having them. You can see the capsule there. It's a nice little capsule. One thing I'll say is that, so this is an omnidirectional microphone, and I can see there's very little noise rejection places on the side of this microphone, but it is an omnidirectional capsule. We'll take this out in the field, and we'll test some things. We wanna see how long the batteries last. We wanna see uh, how far I can go with this. They claim to be 50 meters um, in, in line of sight. Uh, so you can be 50 meters away from the transmitter with the receivers. But we'll test both with the microphone, with the lav mic. They feel pretty good quality, actually. They don't feel cheap. There's some that you pick them up and you're like, oh, that's gonna break. <laughs> so they feel all right. <laughs> They're not screw-ons. Linus wants, Linus wants all the microphones we buy to have the screw attachment here because, and it's, it's not wrong. Over time, 
this can get loose and come out really easy. So it's nice when there's a lock, screw lock on there. But we'll take... I don't trust my talent. <laughs> Linus says he doesn't trust the talent if you guys can't hear him in the background. <laughs> I asked if you wanted to be a part of this episode. <laughs> Again, he said he didn't stop talking yesterday. That was the, the problem. <laughs> Do you guys believe that? So we'll, we'll take these out in the field. We'll test the lav microphone. We'll test the onboard microphone. We'll test the distance, see how far away I can get from it. Like I said, you can go 50 meters according to this with line of sight. And uh, yeah, we'll test the battery life on these guys. And then we'll let you know what we think after we send the audio off to one of our audio experts. All right, so we'll go over to specs and then I'll see you out in the field. The Joby Wavo Air 2 is 1.93 centimeters by 6.4 centimeters by 4.25 centimeters. The weight of the transmitter is 0.32 grams or 0.07 pounds. The weight of the receiver is 0.27 grams or 0.6 pounds. The polar pattern is omnidirectional. The frequency response is 50 hertz to 18 kilohertz. The signal to noise ratio is greater than 78 dB. The battery life is six hours. This transmitter is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless digital frequency and the operating distance is maximum 50 meters. So now we're outside and we're gonna do the first of our tests with the Joby Wavo Air. And I got the Wavo Air with the fluffy windsock on it on the internal mic against my Tascam DR10, I think it's a DR10. I get them and the, the Zoom mixed up all the time. I think the Zoom is the F2. Anyway, oh, that's not important for today. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk. Each of these gaps between the telephone poles is roughly 25 meters. We're gonna see how far I can go with line of sight uh, before the mic drops out. They say 50 meters, so technically I shouldn't be able to get very far, but let's see. All right, now, while we're talking about this microphone, I don't know if I mentioned it's a 2.4 gigahertz microphone system. Uh, again, they say they only go about 50 meters. But one cool feature about this particular uh, microphone set, one thing about these microphones is that they, they don't record internally. So you have to record to a camera or your, your telephone or some other audio device. And uh, that's fine most of the time. I do prefer having the onboard recording, but for the price, these are great. They come in under 300 bucks US. Well, yeah, you get the lab microphones, you get all the attachments, and you get two transmitters for one microphone kit. So, I mean, it's a good deal in that sense. So the battery life for these, that was the one cool thing. The battery life is six hours, which is awesome. So Julia can't see me anymore here, and I'm at about one, two, three, four. I'm almost at 150 meters right there. So now I walk back. All right, now we're, we're closing back in on 50 meters. Julia, I'm going to turn around and you tell me if you still see audio. All right, so I've turned around now. So this is 50 meters without line of sight. It looks like Julia says it's good. So the transmitter is right on my chest. So I'm blocking the RF at, oh, lost it there. Yeah, so you do get a little bit of droppage, but again, it's a pretty strong signal. These 2.4 gigahertz microphones do great. So there you have it, Joby Wavo Air 2. Let's look at our tests. Um, 
I guess since we just seen the test of me going off into the distance, we'll start with that. Uh, you could see I exceeded well over 50 meters with line of sight and there was no drop in the audio and the audio was clear it was great and it had great noise reduction i recorded two channels so you could actually hear i i boosted one so you could try to pick up the wind it was really windy but when i listened back to them in post you can actually hear it's not bad at all and that was both with the lavalier microphone and this microphone it was very clear but line of sight had to be there as soon as i started turning around you really lost that line of sight and that was hard so <laughs> you lost that line of sight you lost the audio as soon as you lost line of sight so remember that when you are actually recording somebody that mic has to be where the transmitter can reach it uh, if you have to have the transmitter or the receiver behind sorry the transmitter behind them the receiver has to be behind them uh, if you're going to do that kind of interview, if you want to hide the mic. Because, again, that's another thing. This thing is really, it's really nice and pops, but maybe you don't want it to. One thing I would do, one thing I'll probably do more, is hide it like that. Or use the lav microphone. The external, the external lav. Sorry for touching the mic. But... Overall, the sound quality was great. Let's go over and check out uh, this next clip that I did. I did both inside, or rather in a less windy environment, I did the uh, lav mic versus the, this is called the wind, wind jammer on the internal microphone. If you listen to them, there's very little difference. They both come out really clear. I sent it to both Jonathan and Marcus, our audio experts, and they came back and they said, yeah, actually, it sounds really good. Marcus gave a little edge to the lav microphone, but overall, great sound coming out of these. Hey, so I got both the uh, internal microphone with the wind jammer and the external mic with the lav on it here. And now I'll do a really quick audio test just so that you see. Uh, forgive me for when I touch the microphones. So I'm going to cover it. This is the lav. This is the lav. This is the lav mic. How do you guys like the lav mic? This is the internal microphone. This is the internal microphone. This is the internal microphone. How do you guys think that sounds? And then again, together, if you put them together, you can't separate the audio. And that part's a little bit of a trick. So next up, let's go to our charging test. If you look at the time lapse here, and again, we just throw this on our kitchen table uh, <laughs> and we run them at nighttime because we don't have time to sit around for eight hours and watch the microphones. But uh, so at nighttime, we always put up a little GoPro and time lapse the mics. You can see the runtime is supposed to be six hours. We get six and a half hours out of one. We get seven and a half hours out of the other. And then as for the actual charging time they say it should take two hours we get them charged up in two hours and 15 minutes so really terrific product there's very few circumstances where you're going to need more than six hours of runtime maybe you do but then maybe you should have more mics than this or a different solution so uh, what else can I say about these microphones there are some things the bodies are a little plasticky and especially the attachments. I already just from once or twice putting this magnet on with the key or with a coin, you can already see the plastic starting to wear on it. And they're very light. I've almost dropped them about 10 times. Every time I pick them up, it's like, oh, 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 oh. They're so light. I mean, I'm a little clumsy, <laughs> but uh, you know, if you're like me and you're in a rush and you're just trying to grab things, they just fly right out of your hands. So bear that in mind. Um, there are some little things that I can say to you. There is a nice LED light. So when this LED light turns red, it means that you have 90 minutes left of runtime. And that's great that you get that warning. When it starts flashing red, it means stop, you're done. They need to be charged. Uh, it also has blue LEDs. The blue LEDs are both indicators for the pairing. There's a little pairing light down on this side. And if it's blinking, it means that you've lost sync then you just need to uh, put the pin into the sink hole onto the, trans the receiver and press the sink button and then hold in the plus and minus at the same time on this unit to begin the pairing process. 
all right? The other thing the plus and minus do on this is they actually control the gain. So if I turn this on, and I'll try to show you on inside where it's not so bright. Yeah, when the LED comes on, when I press down or up, 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 the LEDs start lighting up around the circle. That tells you how much gain. You get six steps of gain in this. So when you set your mic levels, make sure you set them together ahead of time. Make sure that both mics are equal. If you're gonna, again, have two people in the recording, it has to match. Otherwise, you're gonna have even more problems in post because the audio doesn't separate very well. Overall, I really like these mics. I like the, the price of them. I like the value of them. And uh, the, the only other thing I can say is that both microphones go into the same input. And, and I don't like that. You, you get a mixed mono out. Uh, I tried using an XLR split. I tried like a mini jack to XLR. I tried using a line to uh, split. I tried using an audio board and different things. The audio is coming out of the transmitter, mixing both microphones together. And that is a big negative for me. If you have two people talking over each other, then it's a, it becomes a bit of a problem. If it's a standard interview, not an issue, you know, where you ask a question and your mic is being recorded and then they answer the question, no problem. But conversational recordings, you could run into issues. So bear that in mind. Maybe you want a second set of these or something else. But overall, these are excellent. If you're doing a lot of solo stuff or you're doing a lot of just need to capture what's happening in real time, this is a terrific thing. The audio quality is fairly decent. They say it's broadcast quality. I couldn't really hear a big difference. Overall, I really like this mic. And just a correction earlier, I said I thought it was 219 US. It's 249 US, just so that you know. Guys, if you wanna pick up one of these, we'll put a link down in the description. I hope that this helped you. And if you have any more questions, please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.